Today on this episode of the One Door Workshop, we're gonna be doing something a little different. Normally in our videos, you'll see us making stuff out of wood, building things in our garage. This is gonna be an indoor build and something that hopefully the whole family can enjoy. Our friends over at Ameridroid have sent us this kit and it is the Odroid uh, gaming kit. And we're actually gonna be building this as a team and then we're gonna show you guys how to program different things based off the tutorials that they have. So uh, we thank our friends over at Ameridroid. We'll put links down in the description so you can check it out, check them out, and see what it is that we bought. So we're gonna pop open the box and let's see what's inside. All right, so we've got a USB cable. We've got some directional pads and buttons and switches. We've got the Odroid uh, main board. We've got our display. And then we also have our battery. And here's the little kit that we're gonna be installing everything into as well as our speaker. So what we have to do is figure out how to build the Odroid Go. And so this, we are looking at the instructions online in order to try to make this happen, okay? Step number one is to install this little window. So it says peel off this inside part first. Place this inside this little hole right here. And make sure that it seals down nice and tight. So next it says for us to peel off the plastic covering on the LCD display and we need to install it. And I want to make sure that we install it in the right direction so it looks like it goes just like this. So we're going to peel this. That one has a tab. Yeah. And this is going to stick inside and it's actually going to snap in place just like that. Just like that. Yeah. See, so now we have a screen inside there that doesn't actually show anything yet, but that'll change. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so next we're going to install the play buttons. Play buttons. So Becca, I'm gonna have you install the hard plastic parts, and Hannah, I'm gonna have you install the soft rubber parts. Okay, they should only be able to go in one way. Okay, good job. We'll hold off on that part. Okay, Hannah, where do the rubber parts go, do you think? Over there? Mm-hmm. Does it go like this? Does what do you think? What do you think? Try it out. No, it goes the other way. That way. There you go. sitting on the table, it's it's not sitting down like it should. Okay, now what about the other rubber parts? <laughs> These ones are for a minute. Don't. Oops. Well, you can kind of tell you can all along because one's bigger than the other. Mm-hmm, exactly. So they make it easy to get it right. Now, what we're gonna do is take this board, and we're gonna place it in here, like so. And then we're gonna take this little screw,
So, Becca, I'm gonna have you put screws here, here, and here. So what we need to do now is install the speaker and the battery, okay? So this wire will only plug in one way. So we have to figure out which way that is, all right? So if we look at it, we see that there's, a, it needs a big space here and a little space for the back there. So can you tell which direction that is on this board? Tell how that would go. Oh, that? Sort of. You gotta push it in from the bottom. Push it in. From, no, no, no. Go inside. There you go. And then push it into place. You gotta make sure it's all lined up proper. Okay. Everything's gotta line up correctly. So let's pop this out. So we want to take this wire and it's got to fit down inside this little space right here, right? So we want to make sure it's down inside and then we push it in to snap it in place. Oh. Okay. And then the speaker goes, there. goes in there. So we have to, in order to make this fit, we have to kind of wrap the speaker wire around. We want to make sure it's inside so it doesn't get pinched. Now the battery. The battery goes on in the same fashion. Don't cover up too much with your hands. Okay, make sure it's straight before you push it in. You're pushing at an angle. There we go. Did I put it in upside down? Nope, it can't go in upside down. Okay, and then where does the battery sit? It sits here. Right, but we want to make sure that we can see the logo. So we put the battery like that. All right, so up next is the power switch key. Becca, this is going to be the power switch key. All right, okay. so this is going to have to fit on in such a way that that little groove fits on that little nubbin. Okay, so now we have an on-off switch cover. Yay. We should be able to move it on and off. Now, what we need to do is attach the display to the Odroid. And this is always tricky. So, this here is called a ribbon cable, and it's got a slide into this little connector right here, okay? So we have to take it and flex it and get it to slide in and we want to make sure it's even all the way across and that it fits all the way down and then we snap this little black plastic thing. We push this down into place to hold it so that it doesn't pop out. Okay. Mm -hmm.
All right, so this is the Odroid Go. Nice and clear case, which is awesome. That way you have an opportunity to see the insides. And in future videos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach the kids how to program these. So they're gonna start learning a little bit of code and learning how to do different things. The main purpose of this device is as a gaming toy. You're allowed, you're supposed to be able to put on some uh, retro games like the old Nintendo Game Boy, that kind of thing. Um, that's what its original purpose is, but it has the ability to do a lot more than that. So we're gonna go through some tutorials on coding and that kind of stuff. We'll all be learning together. Once again, I wanna thank Ameridroid for sending this to us and we'll have more information on them down in the description below. Be sure to check them out, it's a very cool place and uh, you can get all kinds of different uh, Odroid and Arduino and all kinds of things like that, so check it out. All right, we'll see you on the next episode of the Wonder Workshop. Have a good one. So today, stop it! Uh, about. Andy. You know you're gonna have to edit all this out. We're a clock club.